Okay, come on now, George. Where are you, George? One day in Storybrook Village, Wyatt gets an important message on his super duper computer. Looks like Pig needs our help, he says. Pig tells Wyatt, Look, the giant stepped on my new toy. He is big and scary. I want to get my toy back, but I am afraid. Wyatt says, this is a super big problem, and a super big problem needs us. The super readers calling all super readers to the book club. Wyatt, Pig, Red Riding Hood, and Princess P meet at the book club club. Wyatt says, together we will solve Pig's problem. Ooh. Pig says, the giant stepped on my toy and I am scared to get it back. What can I do? See that big step? There's the super duper computer, there's the group, there's Pig, George, and the friends. Next, Wyatt says, when we have a problem, we look in a book. Princess P waves her magic wand. She says, peas and carrots, carrots and peas. Book, come out. Please, please, please. There's the book. A book flies off the shelf. The title is... George and the Dragon. George and the Dragon. Wyatt says, We need to jump into this book to find the answer to Pig's question. It's time to transform. Oh, they will transform. Okay. Next. In a flash of stars, the super readers change into super heroes. You see that? Alpha pig with alpha power. Wonder red with word power. Francis Presto with spell, spelling power. Super Y with the power to y. read. They climb into their Y flowers and flyers and say, Super readers to the rescue. Then they fly into the book. Francis Presto says, Presto, we're in the George and the Dragon book. Super White says, This book is about Knight George. He wants to rescue Princess Hope from a tower. But he's afraid. A scary dragon is keeping her there. Oh, right there. Alpha Pig says, That's just like my problem. I am scared of the giant just like George. Scared of the dragon. We need to find George. The super readers find George. Alpha Pig asks, are you going to battle the scary dragon? George says, yes, I am. But I do not know where the dragon is. 
How will I find the dragon? Ask George. Alpha Pig to the rescue. Do you see that? With the tools? Yeah. Alpha Pig says, With my amazing alphabet tools, I will find the letters in the word dragon. So we can get them to the dragon. Alpha Pig says, Look, I see the letters D, R, O, Z, G, O, N. That spells dragon. The dragon must be behind those trees. Oh, you see that? Yeah. Spell? D O A D O N. Reads as? Dragon. Roar! Goes the dragon. We found the dragon. He is very big and very scary. And says Alpha Pig. Ooh. Princess Princess Hope, I will rescue you, yells George. Roar! Goes the dragon. Ah, cries George. He is scared. Princess Hope has an idea. If only we could make the dragon fall asleep, then George could get past the dragon. Oh. What are what they planning to do? Super wide. What the what they're planning to do if they could make the dragon fall asleep? Princess Paul. Prince Fre Princess Bristol. Princess Bristol to the rescue. All right. Princess Bristol waves her magic spelling wand and says, "I can spell the word sleep." That will make the dragon sleep. Mm. <laughs> Presto, the dragon yawns and falls asleep. Falls asleep. Sleeping dragon. One by one, everyone tiptoes past the dragon. They are trying to be very quiet. Shh, whispers Princess Presto. They sneak past the dragon. George cheers. Hooray! The dragon wakes up. Roar! George is scared. Princess Hope says, Don't be scared, George. George says, But dragon scares me. My story says so. My story says so. See, what can I do? Super wide? No, I need to do this. Okay. Super wide to the rescue. Okay. Super wide says, I can change this story and save the day. He changes the sentence. He switches the words. George and the dragon zap. The new sentence says, George scares the dragon. George yells, Boogly boo, boogly boo. The dragon is scared. He stops roaring. Oh. Princess Hope says, Now you don't have to be scared, George. Just talk to the dragon. Dragon says, Dragon, let Princess Hope out of the tower. And the dragon says, Goes away. Oh. <laughs> the dragon is scared of him. Princess Hope comes down from the tower she says great job george george says thank you for helping me be brave princess hope says you are welcome super wise says it's time for us to go goodbye george goodbye princess the super readers hop into the white flyers they fly out of the story and back to the book club. Pig says, now I know what I have to do. I have to be brave, just like George was brave. He 
hop, hip hip, hip hip. Hooray! The super reader saved the day. We change the story. We solve the problem. We work together. So, hip hip. Hooray! The super reader saved the day. Okay. The